Let me do the quote here. Hey, no, 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 Give it to me. Give it to me. Thank you. That's you meant to be having that. You can chew that bit, but. All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? So, yes, we're here. We're one week out from the Arnold Classic. And obviously, as some of you have seen in the social media following stuff, there's been a lot going on. A lot of things are happening, man. So we had, um, obviously, Arnold last week in Ohio. That was a great showing for us, man. We're really, really proud and happy about how that went. And everything that we did lead up to that, you know, I tried to bring you guys as much videos going into the show as much as possible. But by the time it got to Thursday, you know, we were just flat out busy, you know, between re at least registration, meet and greet and all the stuff and responsibility we have to do with the sponsors. Me and Mel, we couldn't keep filming and trying to bring you out the daily videos leading up to the show. So that's as far as we can go. We we're just completely flat out busy and trying to get my physique to the ideal for the stage. So couldn't keep, couldn't bring you out, guys out video uh, towards the, around the show period. And then post show has just been absolutely flat out busy, man. Obviously, being in the states, having things to do, you know, around there, expos, uh, shoots, everything else, and then flying back straight to the UK. It was just, it, been, it was crazy, man. Honestly, it was, uh, it was one of the most busiest weekends we've ever had in a show, and it was one of the most stressful weekends we've ever had in a show, and yet it was one of the most enjoyable times we did we've had into a show as well, you know. And yeah, it was been, it's been, you know, it's been, it was a lot. It was a lot. And then, you know, obviously there's been a lot being said since the show and a lot of been speculation, things been happening around that period and everybody's sort of wondering, you know, what's going on and what happened and whatnot. And, you know, I thought, you know what, as usually, man, my shit is always straight up forward. I don't do the, you know, guessing games and speculations. I hate all that crap. I like to give you guys straightforward answers, straight to the point, right here from the horse's mouth. And ended at that, you know. I don't, I don't like, I don't like that tension, especially in negative ones or any ones that have to do with that. I like to be very forward with you guys and just tell you exactly what's going on and what the plans are right now, what it is going forward. So Arnold Classic leading up to the show, you know, we we know we had our best look today. We brought our best look today even to the show. We know we got everything at around, everything fair the way we wanted to do. We had everything going into the show that plan we followed the plan to the tee we did everything we executed it just spot on you know leading up to the show in terms of you know what the look we want on stage you know one of the things is trying to pick properly has been our biggest problem is trying to get a perfect pick for the show, for for the stage and you know what is one of those things that we sort of looked at it. you know our lowest point into the show i think it was the thursday before we start putting the carbs in we looked at it everything was perfect everything was well well else depleted and everything was good, you know. Then from that point, we carved up into the into on the from the Thursday afternoon, we carved up straight into the show for the Friday, which was all well and truly well and what we wanted it to be. In terms of the look, we monitor the look, we monitor the carb source and everything else. For me, it's always the case of okay, the drying out process and holding the detail. Now drying out and everything else is almost obviously pulling water from underneath the skin. But when you try to pull water from the skin, it doesn't go from just underneath the skin. You tend to lose muscle, um, fullness of the muscle and tend to lose um, water from the muscle as well. Now, for me, I, obviously, with my muscles, the way it works is we, we know when it comes to the big, thick muscle, it's fine. I always stay and always look full. But those intricate details, those little 1%, 2% details tend to go when we pull water. Now, trying to keep that, preserve that, but yet pull water from the skin is always the, the hit and miss part of it. Sometimes you get it right and sometimes you don't. Trying to master the art of that is always where is the most difficult. I can have the big, full, deep cut lines, but trying to get that grainy, intricate details, which we have all through the prep, the last stage of the prep, but that minute where you try to pull water and try to carve up, is always one, something, you always lose something. And this is always one of those things we've always struggled with, to try to get that fine details out of it. We had it all through the week, we had it all through the part, but when it comes to that part of it, it tends to kind of hinder us a bit. So that's where things tend to obviously kind of get a little bit skewed up and get a of mince anyway. So that's what sort of things will happen with this show. And then I remember the Friday morning when we wake up for day of show day, everything was spot on. We've carved up through the day. 
We pulled, we started pulling water. The look was there, the look was there, the look was there, exactly what I wanted. Went down for the tan, came up. And I don't know, man. I don't know. Every time, you know, we do a show and I go for a tan and come back the night before the show, you know, before we go out to the stage or the night of the show where we go out to the stage. Once we come back from the tan, it tends to send, you know, between pulling water and tanning, we tend to lose that intricate detail just a little bit. You know, it tends to make us look, it'll make our skin look healthier, but what happens is it tends to hide askew and askew some of the fine details. And it's something that we're trying to learn and figure out how, how to master that. You know, it's, it's, it's frustrating. You can imagine it's frustrating when you've, you've spent weeks and weeks and months trying, doing all that work to get your best look at the stage. And then, you know, the fine last minute details is something you haven't quite nailed because you don't do shows every week. You don't do shows every month. So you only get so many hit and miss when you come into a show and you can't have enough experience if you don't do more of them. And it's trying to get those fine experiences. Again, opportunity to try those experiences that is always kind of like hit and miss. The strategy we've had before had worked and always worked. We did it for Prague, we did it for Romania, but we tried it for this one and it just, your body responds a little bit different and things can change. And this one just did not quite, it worked, but it didn't work as well as we hoped it would. And that was just the detail of what sort of like come through with it. At the same time, it was still our best look to date. We still stood on stage, we still battered out, we still came right there, you know, just right there next to the show. And it was just little bits of detail, separation, and things that just kind of kept us shy from having to go, having the prize we want. Now, can we do better? Of course we are. We will do better, of course we do. We will. It's just trying to obviously trying to really master the art of getting that right combination and peaking it just perfectly. This is the way it always comes down to just having that perfect peak in the final few days of the show. And this is where we kind of always kind of hit and miss, hit and miss. And yeah, you know, like I said, we work a lot. We work hard as hell. So it can be very frustrating to basically, you know, miss that mark every single time when you're just that last bit of detail. And it's, uh, yeah, you can, <laughs> I can tell you now, I am, I am definitely frustrated by it. But at the same time, I'm not disappointed. I know each time we miss, we learn something new and something not to do. And something we, got, we can adapt for next time. So and this is no different. So after the show, we sort of spent, we're going to spend time as always we do, looking at what we did, what to try next time and what not to do this time. And that's what it is. Now, in terms of obviously what happened post show and after that, you know, it's it's hard, man, because it's like you put your body through a lot in those final days. You're depleted, you're tired, you've gone through a long prep, and then you know you're you're, you're running you're running ragged throughout a whole week. You're running ragged. You got a lot of appearances, a lot of commitments you have to do around those times, which I love doing, but they, sometimes they come at a cost and. When you're that, they're playing that low, you stand, you spend, you remember, for the uh, meet and greet, we were there all day, we shook a lot of hands, we met a lot of fans. Day of the show, we did the same thing at the expo, met a lot of fans and did the whole expo thing. Sunday, did a lot of that as well. Now, after the show, you know, when you're that state, you shook a lot of hands, met a lot of people, you open yourself to, you know, a lot of things and it just happened that I just felt ill on the flight back home from all that, obviously you're exhausted, you're tired, and your immune system is more vulnerable at that point. So I felt ill and I got the flu and it was just what it is. It's not the first time it's ever happened. It won't be the last time either. So I got the flu on my way home and just been running ragged. And yeah, my body just basically just got to the point where it was just like, yeah, you can't, you can't, you can only fight off so long. And basically that's what happened. And now, you know, make it worse because Mel went through it with me she's managed to contract it as well. So she's sort of, I'm in the back end of it now. I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to, it's finally got out of my system, drinking a lot of water, you know, having antibiotics, antibiotics being given, and then just re rehydrating has helped me sort of push past it now and feel a lot better. Mel is in the middle of it now. She's, she's going through it. She's in the middle stage of it. So you can hear her sniffling next door. She's trying to get through it herself. At the same time, we know we've got the Arnold UK happening next week. 
which is another one where we have to sort of get ourselves, both ourselves feeling healthy and good before next week. It's Saturday today. We got five days before the show again. So I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. Mel needs to sort of hopefully get through it before the weekday starts. So hopefully having a good rest for her this week will, this weekend will really help with that. So yeah, so that is basically where we are with, in terms of that sort of side of things. And uh, yeah, and we just have to, we just have to kind of stay strong and realize this is our last show for this part of the year. After this is done, we're definitely looking forward to having a break, having some downtime, relaxing, and uh, yeah, and just enjoying that process. You know, this is the Arnold UK, man. This is the first Arnold UK officially that we have done since 2021. And we really love that show. This is the first UK show we've done since 2021. You know, I got friends, I got family, I got a lot of people support here, a lot of love here. And for me, there's no way in hell I wasn't getting on that stage next week. There's no way in hell I'm not doing the show. There's no way in hell I'm not representing UK next week. So the idea of even not doing the show is not going to happen. You know, it's just not going to happen. So I got a lot of love and support. So for me, it's like, yeah, we're doing this. We're going to do this next week. We're going to use it as, a, as well as another opportunity to try something different, try something new, and hopefully see how that goes. Either way, it's going to be a learning experience for us. Either way, it either works out and it's great, or it doesn't work out, we learn something new not to do. But either way, it's going to be a new learning experience for us. So I welcome that. I welcome another opportunity to get experience from that. So yes, so that's what we're kind of doing with that. Today, this is my vlog series. I'm going to take you through today. And as the day goes on, I'm going to talk to you guys about a lot of things, that, a lot of questions that you have. I know you guys want to ask, so we're going to address those going forward through to the day. But for now, good morning. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog series. Road to the Arnold UK. Let's get it going. Let's do what we do. All right, buddy. You want to go for a walk? Walkies? Walkies? Yes. You want to go for a walk? All right, let's take you out for a walk, man. Let's go. We'll do, take you out for a walk before we go to the gym and get our training done today. We got back session to do, back and uh, calf session. So, yeah, let's go do that. So first, boy, walkie time, man. Let's go for walkies. Walkies, walkies, walkies. walkies. So let's do that. Uh, no. I just missed that one. You missed it? Yeah. Oh, no. It just died. Huh? Uh, it's a tumble. You never give it back. Hey. Look at your back. Look at your coming, bud. Oh, he's covered in mud. Yep. And this thing is covered in blue. Okay. Time to do what I've got. Uh-oh. I've got a stick. Do today. And today I've got something new I want to try out, which we got in the States, but I get to officially try it out today. And that's right there. Check it out. Oh, look at that. That looks sick. Yes, yes, yes. Pineapple flavor. And yeah, I got to hit this up with my intro workout. And get that working. Look at that, that's gonna be sick. So, bloodshot goes in there, and then I'll mix it up with what fruit do I like the best? Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, orange right there. I'm gonna mix these two up. Bam! I'm get my intro workout drink for this workout. That'd be sick. That looks hot. Man, never thought I'd see my face in the bottle. What's up with me? That is right, 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 right. back session to do today. That is new to me. Yeah. Look, mama, I'm famous. <laughs> anyway, guys, remember you can pick up any of these at the hostile website. Use code Samson10 and get yours, and then you can have a hostile cover like me. Nice. Sweet. That is new to me. I can't take no love. Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
So we just back from the gym, back from workout today. And yep, yep, yeah, that was good, man. That was good. We had a look as well, you know. Uh, Jim, they got a new posing room in there, and I just had to test it out, and that was absolutely great. I think it was been, uh, it has been wanted for a while, but having one official posing room in your gym, it helps. It helps. So it means I ain't gonna be dropping my pants in the middle of the gym anymore, which is uh, definitely making for a good, a good change and of everything in that sense. But yeah, I just want to touch base with you guys in terms of like, we're talking about in terms of coaching and everything, What who's um who's going to be coaching me going into the Arnold Classic next week? Like I already said, obviously, you know, like who's going to be um, taking me into the show for the next week? I mean, this one is a bit of a no-brainer. We're doing this one ourselves. Mel is the one that's going to be coaching me into the Arnold now next week. She coached me post Olympia shows last year. You know, when we had the Romania Pro and the Prague Pro, she picked me up for that show. So it only, I mean, this one is, it makes sense for her to be picking me for the show next week. Mel used to prep me in the past, like I always, always said in my video. So this one was, and she's been, she's been there. The whole time she's been there. She's seen me at my best, she's seen me at my worst. She knows what's worked and what hasn't worked in the past. And since we're still learning, this part we just, yeah, it's, it's just a no brainer. And the one thing, you know, I'm, I'm since obviously you guys got the announcement that I'm no longer with Nilos, my DM has been flooded with obviously a lot of messages and a lot of questions, a lot of people asking, you know, who's you going to be your coach, who's going to be this and what, what's going on. And I just want to clear up, man. One of the things I want to say is in terms of getting a new coach, we are not even thinking about anything just yet. We are still in the heat of it, man. You know, this only happened, you know, a few days ago, you know. And when you've been with someone for two and a half years, it, and you all of a sudden, you know, go your separate ways, it's not like it's just a professional relationship where you be like, yeah, okay, we're done, and then you find a new one. It doesn't work that way, man. For me, well, not for me anyway. There's a uh, there's an ounce of loyalty and respect that is in that. And once you kind of separate that, you still feel hurt. You still feel that feeling of loss, you know, that feeling that person is not in your life like that. And in our respect, I just don't feel, especially in this prep now as we are, I don't feel right to even want to think about being with anybody else right now, you know. I just I just don't don't see it. It's just even just pure of the shell shell respect, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't I don't I can't do it. It just feels it feels wrong to me. It just feels wrong to me to me, you know. So that we just like look as of now, we're going to finish up the prep. We're going to get our last show out of the way. Then we're going to have a break and let things cool down when we are no longer in the height of it and everything's calmed down a lot more. And then we're going to sit down and we're going to think about it, you know, sanely and think about it and see, you know, where we want to go from there. But until then, we just, we don't want to throw in any more drama into our life that there already is. We don't want to start mixing things up as there already is. And we want to put a lot more thought into it, you know, and that takes time. And, you know, so for us, it's like, okay, we're going to get this prep done, finish it off, have some time off, and then we're going to go for, we'll see what we're going to do in the future. But for now, that's where we're at in terms of that. And you know what? We've had so many mistrials and stuff like in the past. Even this one, going to this show next week, is good for us to see what we can do by ourselves to try something new and see something different and see what results we get. 
If it works out, great. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter. It's a learn, another learning experience. So that's the way we have to look at it. So going to next week, this is where we are. This is where we look at it. This is what we want to do. So, you know, that's just what there is it to it, man. That's what we're kind of thinking. But yeah, so today we're done with this one here. It's been a really nice day. We really enjoyed it. Just had my post-gym meal now. And uh, yes, like I said, guys, I'm going to be doing a Q&A tomorrow, which is Sunday, on my um, on my Instagram live feed. If you have any more, if you have any questions or anything like that, I'm going to be giving you guys the opportunity to ask what you want to ask. You know, I try to answer as much as I can on here today and on my story on my Instagram as well. So tomorrow, you guys, I'll take your questions and uh, and I'll just answer as much as I can. You know, anything as you guys have in because, like I said, I don't like the idea of being a mystery as an athlete. I've always been straightforward and spoke to you guys and told you exactly what's happening as it happens. So. Yeah, that's the only way I see that I can go ahead. That's the only way I live my life, man. I don't have time for those kind of games and playing those things. So that's just where we are at with that. So yeah, let's get on forward out there. I'm going to chill. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to do something fun. Yeah, yeah, let's let's let's, let's go do something fun. Yeah, <laughs> you know what time it is? Oh, damn. Damn right. <laughs> here to catch our sunset it's just coming down over the horizon down there just want to catch it oh uh, damn it's such a beautiful evening as well man wow look at this look at this i mean what a life what a life to have man I know, regardless of whatever happens, you know, whatever happens to me now, whatever happens in my life right now, there's one thing I'm always going to know, I'm always going to believe, that I've been blessed in this life. I've been truly blessed in this life. I never thought I would ever make it this far. Hell, I never thought I would live this long. You know, and to be here right now, being able to do this and have this life, I can't help but I always look at it and go, man, take a moment to be grateful for it. Truly be grateful for it. And just feel like, damn. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy. And I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have it. You always got to take note of your life, regardless of how shit you think it is or how good you think it is. Always take a minute to stop and just think about everything and think about where you could have been and where you are. And just understand that we have we have a blessing in this life, and it's our job to see it and cherish it. Because once it's gone, it's gone. There's no reruns. It's done. Once it's gone, that's it. We don't we don't get reset. We don't get another try. It's just gone. So please, 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 live it. Just live it. Live it, and don't regret nothing. Live it. Because I definitely. No, that I've been definitely blessed in this life. And I will spend every day of my life always trying to understand it and to cherish that. No matter what happens from this point forward, I always remember that. What a beautiful evening. <laughs>